What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. As you can see behind me, and by the first minute of this video, I bought an F80M3. I'm super excited to just dive in. There's tons of stuff I wanna show you and tell you about this car, so let's get right into it. And only because I know I'm gonna get questions about it, I still have the 335, and of course I still have the 135. Now, I probably won't ever sell the 135, at least not that I can think of. Um, there's no car that I think that would replace it. I've had this car for over six years. I just love it to death. Um, from stock to what it is now, it's been an awesome journey building this channel up, using this car, so it, it's got a special spot in my heart. But the 335, obviously you can see I still have it here. I wanna finish the build on this before I sell it. Obviously I told you guys I have tons of parts for this car, um, full bolt-ons, yada, yada, yada. There's things I wanna do to this and put on the channel. I know I have a lot of die-hard N54 guys who wanna see a build from stock, to uh, you know, an attainable power level. Stock turbos, uh, a little over 400 horsepower. So that's happening with this car. And then I would probably will sell it this summer. So just so you guys know, still have both the cars, but let's talk about the F80. So let's talk about this new addition to the garage. It is a 2015 BMW M3. Uh, it was the first year they started making these cars. And as you can see, it's mineral gray metallic. Now, if you're not familiar with these cars, they do come with an inline six twin turbo engine um, going from the generation before, which was E90 body style, same as my 335. They had a naturally aspirated V8. So BMW put a inline six twin turbo in these things, which I'm excited about because obviously when you put a turbo on something, that means it's tunable. So there's a lot of uh, mods that'll really wake this thing up for more power. Now, like I was saying, um, part of the reason why I'm really happy to go with this platform is because it's got the three liter twin turbo engine. This S55 is the engine code, is basically based off the N54 and N55. So it kind of makes sense to make that step from uh, a 335 or 135 with the N54 or N55 up to the M3 uh, or even an M2 competition that has the S55. I think a lot of you guys uh, within the next you know couple months or years, your next step is gonna be this type of car. So it was for me, it's a smart decision. From the factory, they make 425 horsepower and I think 409 torque. And um, the twin turbos are, are right down here, similar with the N54 or N55. And we can uh, basically pump those numbers up pretty quick just with bolt-ons, um, some fuel, and a tune. So I can't wait to see where this takes us. It just made sense that this was the next step for me. This thing's 100% stock. Only mod is the window tint, which I'm glad. I mean, that saves me 200 bucks. But this thing is bone stock, just like it came from the factory. And uh, I already actually ordered mods for this before I bought it. I couldn't wait. So I've got lowering springs. I've got paint match reflectors. This thing's getting a full build pretty dang fast. So let's go ahead and jump inside the car. I want to show you the interior. And I want to show you guys all the packages and options it had. Um, this thing was a gem in the rough. It's pretty much fully loaded. And it was local, so I just had to pull the trigger. Inside the cockpit here, we've got a black interior. And you guys, I'm sure, noticed right away the manual transmission. I couldn't do anything but a manual on this. I know the DCT is really fast. I've driven them. They're awesome transmissions. But I just like, I just like manual. So that's what I got. Um, couldn't be happier with it so far. It's got the carbon fiber trim package. I'll show you guys the details of that. Let me go ahead and jump in the driver's seat and show you around. So I just jumped in and fired it up. Um, the first package I want to talk about is the driver's assistance package. Um, the buttons for that are going to be down here. Basically, it has a auto lane departure warning. So if you start drifting lanes, the steering wheel will vibrate. Um, it's got a speed limit, which I'll show there and on the heads-up display, um, which is pretty nice. It also has a, um, I'll show you guys here, a side cam function. So right now it's showing me from the front bumper what's on each side. So if I'm coming out of an alleyway or anything like that, it'll show me the traffic. It also has a top view um, and a parking sensor function. So I think this is really cool. Some cars don't have this package when I was looking, um, but for me, it's, it's a must have on a daily for sure. Now this car also has executive package. 
I've noticed that just about all M3s are going to have this executive package, but what comes with that is a heated steering wheel. You'll see I just turned that on, steering wheel heat air activated. Um, it also has comfort access, meaning you can just put your hand in the door, pull it, and it unlocks. Um, it's push to start, so you don't have to have the key in anywhere. Uh, it also has heated rear seats. So back here, these seats are heated. Um, it's got the heads up display, which I already showed you guys. Um, I don't know if you can see that there. That's the heads up display. So if I rev it up, um, it'll show the revs, the speed, um, the speed limit on the left. It's pretty cool. I'm already used to having it just because I had it on my X5. Um, but that's pretty sweet. Uh, executive package also comes with a rear view camera. So I showed you guys the top view, but it also has the rear view. So it shows what's behind and if you turn the wheel, it'll show you where you're gonna end up um, and so on. So that's pretty nice. It also has headlight washers. Um, I could do without those, but that's the executive package for you. It's got pretty much the standard features that most M3s should come with in my opinion. And the last package that was even available is lighting package, which this car also has. So that's an automatic high beam function. Uh, you'll turn your high beams on and they'll automatically turn off when it senses oncoming traffic. And you get uh, LED headlights instead of the xenon headlights. So it's an upgraded headlight and I'll, sh I'll roll some, some video of that. Um, but that's all the lighting packages, and this car, like I said, has that as well. Now you'll also notice on the lower right hand corner of the gauge cluster, um, we've got a Sport Plus, Sport Plus, Sport Plus. What that's showing is it's in engine right here, Sport Plus mode, uh, suspension, Sport Plus mode, and steering, Sport Plus mode. And now you'll see down here, uh, there's three buttons that go the same way. Engine, suspension, and steering. So you can change between the modes um, using the buttons. So for example, now I'm in efficient engine mode, uh, suspension's in comfort, steering's in comfort, and you can change these with the three buttons here. The engine kind of wakes up a little bit, it's more responsive, it sounds better, the suspension firms up, um, gets stiffer as you go up, and then the steering is the same way, more responsive, a heavier steering feel um, in the sport settings. So this car does have adaptive suspension, that is not standard on the M3s, it's an option, um, but again, this car has that. So, pretty cool that I'm able to play around with that. That's new to me. Um, in the E90 body styles, it's just, you know, the same car. You don't get to adjust anything at any time. So, it's a pretty cool function for me. you also notice uh, it's got the Harman Kardon package. Uh, that's a sound upgrade package for these cars. So, this has, like, the premium sound, I guess you could say. And, uh, oh, that also reminds me of that little triangle there on the mirror. That's the blind spot awareness. So if someone's driving in your blind spot, um, that'll light up so you don't change lanes. But yeah, it's got the, the sound package. As you can see, it's got a nice carbon fiber trim package. Um, looks really nice. Honestly, I think my favorite thing about this car is the interior. You'll notice it's just nice and modern. The E90 is starting to feel a little bit outdated now. It's 10 years old. Um, I just, I was ready to step into a new car. And I couldn't think of a better one than, than an M3. So I'm happy to have this thing. I'm still learning a bunch about it. And I'm sure I'm going to be sharing that with you guys. But uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Now while we're inside, you guys might notice the headliner is all black and there's no sunroof. Um, there was two options when you spec'd out these cars from the factory. One option was either with the sunroof or without. Now I'll show you guys. If you opted for no sunroof, you got this beautiful carbon fiber roof. Uh, it's a one by one weave. It's got a nice design down the middle. It just looks really aggressive. Um, and I wanted this for sure when I was looking for these cars. Uh, like I said, you either get the carbon fiber slick top or a paint matched sunroof. Um, and this just saves so much weight off the top of the car. Um, I did a sunroof delete on my 135, which I'll show you guys very soon. And this is just the way to go for me. Looks much better. Uh, this is the only downside of having the mineral gray metallic is because you can't really tell the color difference between that and the carbon fiber. So maybe one day I'll wrap this. I got a couple ideas. We'll see where it takes me. And just like that, I'm gonna wrap up this video. I'm losing daylight. 
and the next video I want to do is take you guys out for a ride and give you my first impressions. I wanted to go over the car first, unveil it to you guys. I want to know what you think, so drop a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up if you approve, and be sure to subscribe because, like you know, I've got a lot more videos coming soon. So until then, peace. Thank you.